season coach championship level you come here to the Nets uh, Jason Kidd's his first year can you talk about the transition and also you guys bringing your um, experience in, in helping in that transition for him uh, playing with Doc was uh, a great experience for me not only did I grow as a young man but I feel like I grew as a player um, Doc helped me to <clears throat> understand um, <laughs> that it's going to be okay and I say that phrase because at times where you know, I feel like I need to work out more. He would always use that phrase with me. Or if I feel like I need to do something, um, if I didn't go the whole practice, you know, I'm, I'm worried about my preparation. Um, when it comes to my craft and how I prepare, I'm very deliberate, very precise, and very focused. <laughs> and um, Doc would come in at times and make something that was tense very relaxed, and make it comfortable. You know, and I wasn't I wasn't used to that. I wasn't used to a coach making me comfortable. You know, coming in joking, getting more on the personal side. I wasn't, um, I was new to me. And it actually helped me. It actually helped me enjoy my teammates, enjoy the year, enjoy the team. Those are the things I'm bringing here, along with being more relaxed, <clears throat> being able to communicate with Jason, being able to, you know, uh, articulate what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to get off. Those things are what I've taken away from Doc Rivers. Um, I like to call him a mentor more than anything. Why the decision to uh, wear number 27? Was that to honor Malik Sealer? Um, honestly, uh, there was two reasons. You know, my chapter in uh, Minnesota was obviously 21 days. My, my chapter was in six years in Boston was five. And um, when five was not available, um, it was only right that, um, you know, coming to New York, which was something that I didn't ever think that I would ever do. It's only right that uh, someone that I respect so much and um, have a lot of... Uh, Respect for who he is as a person more than anything. It was only right to you know, pay homage to him, you know, a dear friend of mine. Kevin, um, before, you know, now, in the last two years, before there was like, a basketball team in Brooklyn, when you heard of Brooklyn, what came to your mind and what's it going to be like for you to be in the community and to rep Brooklyn throughout your chest? Um, I was in, in Brooklyn back in 92, 93, and I used to come in and visit Steph back in Coney Island. And uh, we'd be out in the garden. <clears throat> They got a court out there. There's projects that they call the garden. So, you know, I'm not fairly familiar with Brooklyn, but I've been here. You know, I've been to uh, Brownsville with uh, my man Gordon Malone. Um, can't say that I have traveled through here too much, but, you know, I have some experience through here. And I'm looking forward to embracing the Brooklyn community. Um, I'm sure it's very similar to the other ones that I've embraced. Um, I'm just this whole experience, man. Kevin, you, you, you never, you never played with the Dominican Center. What do you expect from your association with uh, Mr. Lopez? I played with Shaq before. Yeah, but, it's yeah. okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> he's up and coming though. He's young, and I feel like he's one of our young and up and coming centers. And you know, whatever I'm able to contribute towards him, his development, I'm looking forward to it. Kevin, does the addition of Doc make the Clippers a favorite in the West? Said it again, please. Does the addition of Doc Rivers make the Clippers a favorite in the West? Uh, I think so. I think just with his confidence and what he's going to bring to that team, 
think it's going to make Blake Griffin and those guys better players um, because it's going to push them. Um, definitely going to be contenders in the West. Is this a, a two-year window uh, that with this team? Or, I mean, how, how, do you, how do you approach with this team left and left? You know, I'm going to take this process one day at a time. Nothing more, nothing less than that. Just knowing uh, that Jay-Z was so heavily involved with this whole Brooklyn project, uh, the Barclays Center, and that's getting into Brooklyn, you get everything that he's involved in right now in sports, anything that he's done in the past, you know, just uh, how cool and exciting is that? Uh, Jay-Z's yeah, yeah, so involvement in sports and just in the Brooklyn Nets. I think he's uh, showing um, evolution. He's starting to open up another another entity of his. Um, I think what Jay, what he's built for his own brand is remarkable. Uh, as, as young as young people watching him and what he's doing is just totally an example. Um, but it's more than anything, encouragement. Um, it was good to see. You know, you know anytime you uh, were the first to initiate something, if not start a category, I feel like he's starting to run out of what he's known for as an option musician and being a leader of hip-hop. More importantly, being a businessman, I mean, a black businessman in Brooklyn, standing for what he is, so, so positive. So, shout out to Jay. Kevin, if you've been asked